Magnetism is a strange phenomena which has been known about for thousands of years. And in the past, people have found special stones and minerals which attracted other stones with a, with a mysterious force. Imagine it was some kind of, it's probably viewed as quite a magical supernatural force. They called these, these rocks lodestones and they were naturally occurring magnets. So what is magnetism? Well, let's take a look at some of the properties of magnets to start with. Now, around a magnet is an area of space called a magnetic field. A magnetic field. Now, this is a, an area of space, a region, where certain materials and charged particles which are moving experience a force, a magnetic force. Magnets have two opposite poles, a north pole and a south pole, which exert forces on other magnets. When people were investigating lodestones, they found that sometimes they would attract each other and if you turned one around, they would then repel. So it made sense that they had two separate ends. They also found that lodestones, when hung from a string, would point in the same direction all the time. They would point to geographic north. And we'll, we'll look at that in just a moment. So they discovered that like poles repel and unlike poles attract. Now what, what causes a magnetic field, this area of space which some materials experience a force? Well now we know it is to do with how electrons spin and move around the atoms of the material. And if they all spin in the same direction or same way, then all these billions and billions of electrons, their effect all adds up and creates a magnet or a magnetic field around that material. Let's take a look at the Earth's magnetic field, which is caused by the movement of, of fluids within the Earth's core. Now this creates a field, a magnetic field around the Earth, and that is actually responsible for shielding the Earth from the constant bombardment of charged particles from the Sun. It actually deflects those particles away and keeps us safe. Now, if you hang a, a magnet on a piece of string, as a North Pole and a South Pole, after a while you'll find that it will point towards geographic north. And we, we, we use this effect in a plotting compass. A plotting compass is a freely moving magnet on a piece of a small piece of metal. So this is a north pole of the magnet. Let's put that in a different color. This is a north pole of the magnet. Here's the south pole of the magnet. And the north pole will always point towards geographic north, or approximately, as we'll see in a moment. The magnetic field has lines of force. So these are the magnetic field lines of force, which we sometimes call flux lines lines of flux and this tells us the direction in which a magnet will always point in which the, the north pole of a, of a magnet will always point to be more specific so if we hang our magnet on a piece of string or use a plotting compass we'll find that the north pole of the magnet will point towards geographic north now hang on a minute, you're saying this is a bit strange because geographic north, I'll put, put geo north there, geographic north, why would this north pole of the compass attract north? Because they should repel, surely. Well, that's because when uh, people found these lodestones pointed to the same direction, they called them north seeking. So this is actually north seeking. it's actually pointing to magnetic south. So in the Earth, there is a, 
a magnet, a giant magnet caused by the motion of fluid, which is actually a south pole, which is just off at an angle from geographic north. I know that sounds pretty strange, but that's the that's the reality is that um, the magnetic field of the Earth is actually has a, a south magnetic pole, which is close to the geographic north of the Earth. Now every uh, several thousand years or so, this uh, actually swaps around this magnet um, uh, due to uh, processes within the Earth. So that's why a north seeking compass will point towards geographic north is because it's actually pointing towards magnetic south and that magnetic south is actually located somewhere north of uh, in northern Canada. So that's all to do with the basics of magnets and just to finish off with if you break a magnet into two so here's a north and a south pole of a magnetic material if you broke it into two then you would actually create two smaller magnets and you can think of all of these electron spins which create the original magnet. We call them domains, all pointing in the same way. When you break the magnet, you find that the domains are still pointing in the same way. So we make two smaller magnets and so on. So one thing that's in, uh, important to note is that poles always exist. Exist in pairs, what we call dipoles. Poles always exist, exist in pairs. So those are the basic properties of magnets.